up everybody this is Vincent and today I have a good video for you guys hopefully you will enjoy it I have a perk build that is very strong and helpful it's really good it's called the trapper as you can tell by the title of my perk build right here now let's get on with this the first perk you use for trapper is master crafter 15% damage from all crafted weapons traps and explosives now that's very helpful now I should have done this a while ago before I started this. Let me explain this first, alright? What Trapper is, obviously you can tell by the title, you're using traps. You're using snares, bungee sticks, um, cow traps, anything that traps, or anything that's like an explosive, anything like that, uh, like claymore, any explosives like I just said. And you may not think of this, but actually use a blowgun. That is very helpful. I consider the blowgun a trap because you vomit and it makes you stop and, you're, and then the person is able to hit you. So yeah, that's basically a trap, but when they say traps, they don't mean it in the game as a blowgun. I just mean it like that. It's very helpful to trap people so you can hurt them. Now, the whole point of this is not to always trap everybody. The point of this is to trap them maybe a couple of times, but trap them at least once and hit them. It's easy to kill someone once you get that one second advantage and hit them real hard. You can easily kill anybody. And if you have more than one uh, one second of an advantage, it's easy. It's that That's the whole point of this. It's like if you stop somebody from being able to do what they can do, and you have an advantage over them, it doesn't matter how good they are. They could be the best player in the world. If they get st they struck, stuck in a trap, and you're right behind them, hitting them three times in the back with a full charge, you're going to kill them, even if you're the worst player in the world as well. So, if you just get that advantage, you win. So, that's why Master Crafter is really helpful. 15% damage from all crafted weapons, traps, and explosives. So, every weapon you craft, like a crafted spear, I love to use the crafted spear, that gives you 15% more damage. That's helpful. Every crafted traps you make, which you usually make traps with by crafting them anyways, unless you get them from an airdrop, and any crafted explosives, which I don't really make that many explosives, explosives from crafting them. Now next, uh, onto the next perk is Trapper. This one's good. 25% damage dealt by snares, cow traps, and fungi sticks. Those are the three things you're going to be using the most, hopefully, because they're very helpful. You just got to learn how to use all these correctly. So I'll tell you how to use them, I believe, in the video. I haven't done editing this yet, so hopefully this Hopefully I do explain it in the future. And, yeah. So the next one, you may not believe this, but this is Backpacker. This is important. Don't change this, because if you do, you're kind of going to get screwed unless you f you're lucky to find a backpack. You need, what you need to do, okay, if you played this game, you know what I'm talking about. Your slots, you have one through five. Backpacker obviously gives you all your slots. That's what the perk does. Now, the first slot, or any slot you like to pick, I always like to have my main weapon on the top, and then, you know, down. But I always have my main weapon, which is usually when I start, it's a crafted spear. So this is how you start. You should craft a spear, or any weapon that you can craft that is helpful for you. Some people like the crafted hatchet. Some people just like using the crafted knife. I love the crafted spear. So that's what I use. First one, my first slot has the crafted spear all the time. Right after I get done making the spear... I make the blowgun, and that is helpful. And I know in the, uh, I've already made the videos. I just gotta edit them and put them together. But I know in the future, I uh, tell you a good way to use the blowgun, and it's very effective and it works. So, I'm just really bad at using the blowgun. I don't know why. I can use the bow. I can't use the blowgun. I'm not good at it. So now on to our airdrop. This one. This is all your. You can choose which one you want. I think there's multiple ones with Claymore, the explosive mine, but let's call it the Claymore. Or, uh, yeah, Claymore. That's what I'm used to calling it. I don't know what you guys used to call it, but that's what I call it. So you get the Steel Snare, Crafted Cow Chops, and Explosive Mine with Crafted Punji Sticks. That's a good one, and it's only 65 funk. Now, let's go on. You could use Climber, which you just get the Crafted Snare in a backpack. So let's say... Let's say you want to change this, change Backpacker to anything else that you think is more helpful than Backpacker, and you're lucky enough to get the 70 Funk, and the airdrop comes in, and you get your backpack. There you go. 
that's what you can do. That's not what I like to do. I'd like to have everything at the very start. That's just me. All right. So you can also get Gorilla, which this one's pretty good because I love punji sticks more than really anything else. You can get Machete, which is a good weapon, Explosive Mine, and two Crafted punji Sticks. And together, those are six. So that's another airdrop you can use. And I believe that's the only one that actually... Well, Ninja has kept Caltrops, but the, those are easy to make, so you don't really need to waste your time with that. But that's really, I think, the only one that has... Except for Sniper, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your, all your traps as much as possible and as quick as possible. So that's why this is uh, I use Trapper. You can get 65 Funk easily. You don't have to fight anybody to get Funk. You just find stuff to sell it. So it's very helpful and easy to get, and it's not hard. And what it does is I usually don't even use my airdrop. That's the thing. It's waste of time, waste of funk, because usually I have a, always have crafted punji sticks, crafted caltrops, and steel snare. The only thing I don't have is claymore. So whenever I need want my explosive mine, uh, then I'll call in my airdrop. But other than that, I always have everything else because it's easy. It's easy to craft these things. All you do is sne steel snare is. You make caltrops and then you put it with a rock, and that's a steel snare. Caltrops, I believe, is a rock and a stick, and punji sticks are just sticks, and then you put it in front of the uh, gas vent, and that's how you make punji sticks. They're, they're easy, so you don't really even need an airdrop. So this is all your choice. You can use what I got. If you think there's something better for you, definitely use it. It's it's going to help you more. If, if you have stuff that you're more comfortable with, that's going to help you a whole lot more than using just what I got. Limiting yourself is what ki gets you killed in everything, basically. So, use what you think is good for you. But these are the perks I got. This is the airdrop I use. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. I can provide medical assistance. There's a guy. Let's make it quick. Thanks, game. Our health experts recommend a rigorous ex live long. And do you have a pacemaker or a muscle? You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Killed them with your bare hands. Hmm. 
Well, traps do help. You don't have to kill someone completely with traps in order for it to work. That helped me a lot. I was able to bandage, and it helped me a lot with that. It also helped me gain stamina, so that was, that was great. Ooh, there's a guy. Of course he had a taser. Let's go booby trap this place. I can provide medical That was a little too good. I know I hit someone with my uh, traps in the background. I didn't get to do anything to them though. I hope this makes you feel. I hope you feel better. Are you a man? All right, Are that was pretty good. If I was a real doctor. Would be smarter to get this. All right. Thanks for calling. Your eligibility to receive a personal item has been confirmed. So I need one.
You deserved that. Now that was some trapping right there. Some major trapping. Someone's here. Good. That was easy. That wasn't. That was a little too easy. Oh my goodness. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. This works. This is amazing. No. <laughs> Brass knuckles. Survival spear. So much more helpful. Right? Definitely. Don't like you. There we go. See, the technique with a blowgun is if you hit them once, okay, they throw up two times. They always throw up two times. This little amount they do that in. But, okay. First throw up, you either hit them in the front or the back, or if you can hit them, always try hitting them. Alright? Second throw up. Second time they throw up, you have your blowout gun out, and you shoot them again. So then it all goes over again, and that's how you do it. That's that's how it works, and that's how it's effective. that right there for a while. Okay, let's get some of this stuff over to here. I'm gonna 
do this. This is a little crazy. But hey, I'm all crazy. That's all. That's all I'm about. Booby trap this side pretty good. Now it's time to do the other side. You don't want to put booby traps all the time in one area. You kind of want to spread them out, but you don't want to spread them out in like an obvious, obvious way. Get this side a little bit. Okay, now let's go back and grab everything I need. <clears throat> I still don't know what those explosives were <laughs> that I was stepping on. They didn't hurt me. I just don't understand. Do airdrops not like it when I point explosives at them? I think that's it. That's gotta be it. Look. I think the game is lagging, or not lagging, it's glitching. And see, look, my blue trace thing goes away. Whenever I do that, so I don't know. I think if if everyone can hear that, it's freaking them out. <laughs> I can tell you that. That's funny. <laughs> Watch them think there's like a hacker. <laughs> that would be funny. I wish I could read the people that are spectating this. Like, what the crap is this guy doing? As you can tell, I'm bad with this. I'm very bad at this. Man, it looks like you wasted all your stuff. This game is lagging already for me. Come on, stop. Ah, oh, come on now. Let's at least go kill this guy. We're fighting. Might as well kill him. I gotta wait. I know he's gonna. Well, I used everything. Should not have been so bad at using blow darts. I'm not good with them, I'm sorry. I'm good with the bow. I'm not good with blow darts at all. I don't know why. 
It's so weird. It's basically the same thing, just a different weapon, and you don't aim exactly the same, but come on. It's not that different. I just don't know why I'm so bad at it. There's a the guy. Uh, he's... Wow. Where's the other guy? That's what I want to know. Fight it out for a while. Thank you, like. I think he just ruined the game for me. World game. There you go. There you go. I didn't win because of trapping, but I won. But help, trapping helped me a lot in the past with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was pretty fun. This is a good build. I'll definitely use it again. I hope you guys like it. I hope you'll use it, and I hope you win a lot of games with this game and all the other builds I've posted on my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really need the support right now. But thank you guys for watching again. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.